this hike is the Kill Jesse hike. So, hey, you guys see you for the last time. Yeah. Out at the uh, Brushy Creek State uh, Rec area with Jesse on the annual Kill Jesse hike. Let's see if he makes it this time. Yeah. Have so far. He's lived through the other two. So, third time's a charm, right? Uh, Brushy Creek's got like 45 miles of trails. We're just doing the Lake Loop, which is supposedly, according to them, a 12 mile trail by their uh, account lately. But the trail maps show it is a 14 mile Lake Loop. So we have no idea which one it is. That's par for course, though. So the first, the annual first one was an extra three miles, I think. The second year was an extra, five. like, yeah, maybe five miles. <laughs> this one, I don't know, maybe. Maybe an extra three, we'll find out. But it's uh, Western Iowa, West Central Iowa. It's gonna be about, uh, just southwest of Fort Dodge, or southeast of Fort Dodge. It, don't know a whole lot of history, he was telling me that there was a creek here, and then they dammed it over. Other than that, they've got, like I said, a 14 mile-ish, 12 to 14 mile lake loop. In the center, they have a network of trails that's roughly about 10 miles. And then they have, from that, spurs off to the southeast for about an eight mile down and back. And then to the southwest, it spurs off for about a 14 mile down and back. But some small networks in between. So we'll see how today's go. It's been rainy. It's mostly cloudy today. It looks like it could storm again, but it's not supposed to. Now uh, the storm is supposed to have just rolled through. So. And it looks like what we're walking on, every other trail is closed, so that's why we're doing the lake loop. Because uh, this one is a gravel path like this. And supposedly it's good all the way around. But here we go, just starting. Ah, uh, here's that bridge. Oh, this is actually kind of a cool little... So here's where you can here's where you can definitely see where this place was once. Just a stream running through it. Well, that rain that wasn't supposed to come has come. So I'm gonna put this one away. But I have this one that's waterproof. So still gotta take video, which, yay. It's starting to be a nice day out. Sun creeping through. It's about halfway done. I think we're a little over six miles. But we have no shortage of poop. So, trail update. Most of it, the lake loop is like this. This gravel trail. All weathers, they call it. Well marked. I wasn't, hasn't been overly hard to, uh, find our way around at intersections and whatnot. Uh, there's a lot of open areas like this, not a whole lot of true forest walking, but that's all right. Got a nice day. Sun's peaked out a few times. We're about, I don't know, three quarters of the way through. I think we're at uh, uh, eight and a half miles, I believe. Nice little place, definitely have to return up here. Besides the guy. According to them, I've got 30 more miles of trails to go. Looks like this little section takes the road for a bit. Okay. It's kind of hanging out, that's cool. It's a 
haze out there. Great little pond though. South edge of the park. Well, south edge of the lake loop. Somewhere over here we cross over the road right there actually. Sure crossing. So right behind me is a, a wildflower seed production plot. Now Iowa, I've noticed over the last couple years, has been really moving to restore some of the prairie lands in many of the rec areas and some of the parks. Uh, there's a like this is kind of one of them where they just plant a bunch of wildflowers that would hopefully be native prairie species and then you're not supposed to actually walk through them or anything like that. Um, a lot of the county parks are doing it too. Uh, but yeah, this apparently, I didn't realize they had designated like growing places where they take the seeds and then relocate them to all their other parks, but there's supposed to be one. So that's kind of interesting. Didn't know that was here. A little over 11 miles in, almost at 12 mark. 15 minutes shy, five hours maybe. Just up that road over there somewhere, I think it is. It is the last of this leg. Excellent. So, coming to the end, here's the last little bit up here. Definitely uh, ending on actually kind of a cool note. I like this field with the contrasty blue in the background. Must consult the map. Yes, actually, we can. We'll go straight to, to the campground. I'll take a straight to All right. Last bit of trail. Standard RV campground. Just got to go on the other side of that playground over there. And there's the vehicle. Almost there. Like 300 yards. So here we are in the parking lot. Heading back to the vehicle. Jesse did indeed survive. Uh, very enjoyable hike and I really can't wait to come back and see the rest of it and for a short notice hike where we were going to go to a completely different park today but decided to jump in behind the weather uh, yeah I know other than knowing having it on my list of places to hike and other than knowing it existed I really didn't know much about it or what to expect didn't have time to research or nothing so yeah Good day, good little hike. Well worth the uh, last second changes. All right.